Hi, my name is Julianne Omi, and this is Dear Lovers. All right, so in today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about who I am. I'm going to introduce myself to you, and I'll introduce what the podcast is going to be about. I'm going to start out with where am I from? I was born and raised in South America, Bolivia to be exact, and I moved to the States about three years ago. So the normal reaction I get once I say that is, Wow, your English is so good. How did you learn? Well, my dad is American and my mom's Bolivian. I got the best of both worlds. I know, I know. God is good. And so I've been practicing for most of my life, all my life, really. My grandmother, my father's side, she always believed that I would not be able to speak English or communicate with my father's family because I was I was brought up in South America. And she was very sad and regretful. And she was like, Dawn, I'm so sad. I won't be able to communicate with my with my granddaughter. To which my father was like, oh no, you will be able to. He had one job and he, uh, I grew up loving books and I'd watch all my Disney movies. I had this preference where I'd watch all my movies in English and all my kids shows in Spanish. My dad, he would read to me every night and he kind of introduced me to audiobooks. A little quick overview about my parents' story. They met in California, they got married, practiced having a child on my brother, had my brother, and then perfected it by having me. Duh. <laughs> okay, that's that's some false bravado for you. But as you can imagine, there was a big culture shock from moving all the way from South America to the U.S. It was crazy. Um, a lot of culture shock for sure. I think that I am the way that I am because I got to live in a third world country. I got to experience that and I got to experience um, the States at an age where normally people are already have already grown up in the U.S. and have already experienced a lot of what it has to give. So funny story, um, when I moved here, my dad wanted to get, to get something from the vending machine and I pretended to know what I was doing. I walked in, I did not know how to use a vending machine. I had to get somebody to teach me how to use a vending machine because I'd never used a vending machine before. And people would be like, you've never used a vending machine before? What's wrong with you? Well, they didn't have vending machines in Bolivia. I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, <laughs> Or at least if they did have them, I didn't, they weren't around me at any time, point in life, ever, no. Anyway, so I was homeschooled most of my life from seventh grade to graduation, I was homeschooled. From first grade to seventh grade, I went to a private school back in Bolivia, which was great. So when I moved here to the States, I decided to retake my junior year in a brick and mortar high school to see what it was like to do a social experiment of sorts. I, I like saying that because it makes me sound courageous, but <laughs> honestly, my mom was like, hey, honey, you should really think about going to a brick and mortar school, you know, see what it's like. And I was like, no, mom, that's gonna be horrible. But anyway, I did decide to do that. And I did retake my junior year and I went into a brick and mortar high school and much to my chagrin, it was not like High School Musical, believe it or not. Isn't that strange? Isn't that crazy? I noticed a big, big culture shock. Um, but I'm very grateful for it because I got to learn a lot about myself, a lot about others, and a lot about solitude and loneliness and self-imposed isolation. I think that that is going to be a prevalent topic on the podcast. So my plan for the podcast is to try and focus on the topic of love and relationships and talking about uh, life experiences, like I previously mentioned about my experiences here and there. We are also going to bring on guests. Um, there will be some recurring guests. We're going to talk about current events. We're going to talk about their life experiences. We're going to talk about um, how we can learn vicariously through their mistakes or through their accomplishments. And I, I would like to encourage 
my listeners to send in questions, send in whatever thoughts or opinions you had throughout the podcast, throughout the episode, uh, so that I can respond to at least three uh, or four or maybe even five if the time allows it on the episode. So that would be great. Uh, in fact, we're going to have such great, amazing, cool people on. And I know you guys are going to enjoy and there will be a lot to take away from it. I think that your life experiences really are the lens through which you view the world. And at the end of the day, your life experiences also help form the person that you are. So like I was saying, we'll have lots of guests on the podcast one of the guests actually will be my father. We'll have a couple recurring guests. This has been a product in the works for about a year and a half now, almost. Actually, I think it might be a year to the date. Um, it's been a brainchild for the longest time. And I po- when I posted about the podcast coming out on TikTok, somebody said, finally, this this podcast has just dated longer than a baby elephant. <laughs> And it's true, it it really has. But I think God was really setting up the time and the moment and even the experiences that I've gone through to toughen me up and make me a little stronger and help me be a little more present. And the reason why the podcast took so long to really gestate is, well, for multiple reasons. I think God was preparing me, uh, give me enough time to be able to focus on the podcast, as well as me getting certified as a life coach. So let me not show you that. But yeah, so I got certified as both a relationship coach and a life coach. So I did that in the meantime. I'm excited for us to go down this path. And I'm so grateful that we're going to be going down this journey together. Okay, on a different note, you might be wondering why Dear Lovers? Why that specific name? Well, I believe that we are all called to love. And when we hear the word love, people tend to conflate the meaning of it with romantic love romantic relationships and that's about it um this is actually a topic that we talk about on one of the episodes with my father oh um he's a very wise man i think there's a whole lot that we can learn from them as well we were also going to talk about the different types of love so for example in the greek language there are seven seven ways of saying love um but we will specifically touch on four of them so that's eros passionate love um that's there's storge which is family love there's filio which is a deep friendship love and then there is agape which is sacrificial love you know what the world needs love so that's what we're going to try and spread through this podcast through you guys and especially considering that this generation millennials and gen zers are the loneliest generations to be brought up. So I'm excited to see how many people we can touch with this podcast, how many people we can help feel less lonely. Anyway, yeah, I'm glad you're here. And guys, don't forget that you can follow on Instagram at Dear Lovers Pod. You can follow on TikTok at DearXOLovers. And you can follow my personal accounts at Juliana Omi, both on Instagram and on TikTok. Thank you for listening to the first episode of Dear Lovers. I will see you on the second episode. Enjoy the rest of your week. God bless.